Ah, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm back. It's a beautiful Sunday. Oh, it's a nice lightning. <laughs> it's not too nice, but it's all right. I'm back. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Well, morning ish. Just figured I'd get out. Try to enjoy a couple of minutes. Some drive time. Ah, it's been a beautiful week. Haven't had uh, too much time to get out in the car this week. It's just been backed up. It had so much going on. Work, family, life, you know, but um, I'm glad you guys are here with me once again. The subscriber count is looking ridiculous, you know? <laughs> well, it's looking good. I'm just, I'm blessed to even have you guys pay attention and watch, you know? It's cool as hell, man. Um, yep, it's the old three Cobra. Uh, I actually just changed the oil on it yesterday. Put about six and a half quarts of Mobile One full synthetic uh, 530 in. I always went with 530. It's a little thicker, but I feel like it protects the engine a little bit better. I uh, did a platinum oil filter. I called it a day. I actually do kind of want to go rinse the car off a little bit. It's a little, it's a little on the filthy side, but I already know it's Sunday, and I know how the car wash looks on Sunday, especially on a nice day. It's usually packed, but we might just go cruise past and see if anybody's there. My boy's 5-0. Yeah, just cruise, catch up. Um, let you guys know about my next modifications for the car and what my plans are. We just crossed 79,000 miles on the Cobra. We're almost at 80K. I got this car at roughly 70K. It was at like 69,000 miles. So, I do drive my car, just so you know. It's not one of those things where I just have a show clean. I like to drive this car. And it's my only car, so. SVT. All right. <laughs> yeah. I see you up there, buddy. He needs a paint job on that thing, man. It's not bad, though. It's not bad. It's a little beat. It's a little beat, but it could be better. Got the Alonzos on the front. All right. But yeah, man, you know, just another beautiful Sunday, man. That's it. I'm not tripping over anything. There was supposed to be like a Mustang ride out today. I got up late. I wasn't trying to get up early to go do that. As you know, my only day off is Sunday. So I try to finagle my Sundays and squeeze as much in as possible while getting rest. If that makes any sense. Just doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes it does. I pray one is open so I can just get in and get out. <laughs> All right. We're cruising, <laughs> ladies like. I was supposed to be my turn. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, I see a Mustang up there. Looks like it could be a 5.0. Or it could just be a V6. We don't know. It is definitely just a V6. Yep. Everything's backed up. I'm going to try to pull in right behind this dude and see what happens. All right. Papa's cleaning that thing. <laughs> All right. We'll be back in a second. Yeah. 
Yep. actually got in and out wasn't too crowded at the at the car wash which is a beautiful thing my man about to pull off right into me and we are not going that way we are gonna go back this way because it is much easier to go this way <laughs> my man is cleaning the hell out of that v6 bless his heart though at least he loves it like he's supposed to. Yep. Figure we go take a little spin, man. Nothing too crazy. Plans. What plans do I have for the Cobra? Well, I do want to do a six pound lower pulley instead of keeping the stock lower and i also want to do e85 you guys have heard me talk about that multiple times because i know with the ported eating that i have that'll net the most possible power for me it'll be the most efficient you get what i'm saying so yeah maybe a four or six pound lower return style fuel system e85 is like gonna be the trick when it comes to my car i know that not only is it gonna boost my horsepower but it's also gonna keep everything cooler and that's what we want we want to keep this car as cool as possible i went and did a little mexico trip two weeks ago which you guys seen and i had to stop after a little while because the eaten aka the heating was hot as hell and i knew i know the the eaten retains heat i get it it's it's not the best blower you can put on this car but for now and the way my bank account is set up <laughs> that's what we're running with so if i could just if I can just put everything in perspective and you know get the most efficient setup out of this Eaton blower that I can, I'll be happy. So what do we do? E85, pulleys, good to go. Yeah, it's beautiful out. Figured we'd take a trip to one of my favorite little spots. Hopefully, I can actually get through it and it's not too crowded. Might end up having to go to the dentist today. <laughs> Might be one of them situations where I'm actually getting the dentist going on and, you know, <laughs> I need a filling or something like that. So, eh. I need a filling and a cleaning, and I don't want to neglect my teeth, as you shouldn't. You should definitely take care of your teeth. Um, I don't feel like spending my time like that, but I have to. So I said, F it, let me get out and enjoy the day before I'm in pain later on. <laughs> ah, I don't want to be in pain, but anyway, yes, yes. This is what my day looks like. moments later
also dying to do my front end. I'm dying to get my front end suspension dialed in completely. All I really did when I got the car was put it on springs and put shocks and struts all the way around. I need ball joints, tubular K member, tubular control arms, new bushings and all that. So we're gonna end up, it still drives great. I do hear a little clunking every once in a while when I hit a pothole, but for the most part, the car is immaculate, you know? But over the winter, definitely gonna do that too. On my 03 Mach 1, I had a BMR tubular K member and tubular control arms, which was cool. It was stiff, it was tight, there was no like clunking and shit going on. So definitely gonna do that. And uh, you know, other stuff. I wanna complete the, um, what is it? You know, I wanna complete the webbing for the underneath the car to stiffen her chassis. So I really only have part of it. So I'm gonna do the other part to further stiffen the chassis up. You know, make this thing a fucking go-kart for real. to get out on a Sunday. It really is. And I know I should have got up and went to that cruise, but when you work 12 hours, six days a week, <laughs> you barely want to do shit. I'll tell you that now. But it's okay. I'll start getting to some more functions. I literally get invited everywhere. I just haven't ventured out too much. Life be life and bruh. Life be life and I swear to you. Baby, I'm gonna get you some E85 soon.
downships of Brandon Brutal. <laughs> to get some gas oh my god it's a green light what are y'all doing ah oh, this thing madness you know they made all this stuff recently these additions to kind of call traffic a little bit but it's not working this thing sucks. I promise you. This is just, this is really just destroying the traffic. Traffic sucks since they started adding all this crap. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, within the next couple weeks, we'll head back to Mexico. You know, we'll get a couple things done. We'll get a couple things done, you know, um, to the car. Just in preparation, bro. The car's not going anywhere. I'm keeping the car. I remember a couple videos back, I was talking about trading this thing in for like a Boss 302, but that's not happening. If anything, when I get my house, I will add to the fleet, you know? I'm probably gonna end up getting something a little newer, probably like a 13 or 14 something. It won't just be a 5.0, it would probably be a Boss 302 or a GT500 or something. Only other car I could see me getting is a GT350. <coughs> Cause I do like those a lot. But, you know, we'll see man. We'll see how the money flows. If it flows accordingly, we'll grab something. Maybe a Fox body. You never know. I always like the LXs. You know, push rod motors are cool. 5.0s are cool from that time period. So you never know. Depends on what I come across. But for right now, the focus is getting this thing to about 650. Calling it a day. I'm going to try to get it to where it is now with with the stock eaten or with the eaten but after that we'll be going twin screw on the blower twin screw and you know shooting for the moon and like i always told you i'm not going with your average twin screw i don't want to be the same i want to be different so it'll be something different anyways back on my street Hope you guys enjoyed our little POV Sunday cruise. I'm Ra, this is my 03 Cobra Terminator, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>